Yeah, I mean, I remember when I uh, when I interviewed, I believe, Larry Holmes, and we talked about Ali's last few fights because Holmes ended up fighting him. Yeah. Really almost against his will. Yes. You know, he yes. talked about how in the fight, you know, he wasn't even punching him. He was like open hand slapping him and yeah. was asking the referee to stop it. The yeah. referee told him, shut up and box. And he cried oh, afterwards. I heard that. Ab about it. And I remember I asked him, I said, you know, because you watch these, you know, because Ali was a little bit before my time. You watch these documentaries and the, the fast-witted, sharp, you know, yeah. fast-talking Ali by the end was not there anymore. Yeah. Yeah. The the Parkinson's or the brain damage, the CTE, whatever you want to call it, right, was already right. setting in during his yeah, last yeah. few fights, where he was talking very slowly yes. during the pre, you know, the pre-fight yes. interviews. Yes, and yes. I said, you know, why why do you think he kept boxing? Because he made so much money. He said, well, but he also spent. Ali still had his faculties. He knew what he was doing, and everything else. And and I told him, I said, man, don't fight me. Don't fight me. I, he said, I got to sign and get this money. I got to get this money. He said, okay, go ahead. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I guess part of the spending is paying for everyone else. Yeah. Well, I disagree with him on that. Oh, really? I know, yeah. It's not, it was, he didn't keep fighting for the money. His ego. Aha. Uh because -huh. he had $14 million, You know. Oh. He, he was telling me, again, he said, look, I had, I don't know what happened. He said, I made $60 million. Why do I only have $14 million? But he didn't want to accuse anybody. Hmm. You know? So he had, no, he had, but he said, he said, fame is a drug. Huh. And that, that you, you still want that attention. He would go out deliberately just to get that, all that, you know, fanfare. He, he was addicted you know? to that. All yeah. that love, you know, on purpose. And his wife talked about that. You know, Veronica even mentioned that, that he would, he still missed that. You know, and we went to the Tyson fights together, and uh, he would get more applause than Tyson. That was the drug, <laughs> you know. Ah, yeah. He missed that drug. Uh, it was not. It was not financial. I know that for a fact. Really? Okay. No. Well, th that's that's news to me. I yeah. Mean, I, that's that's an yeah. actual interesting perspective of it. How did you feel when he died a few years ago? Oh man, saddest day ever. I mean, even before that, you know, Ali seeing him not being able with the Parkinson's. Because a guy I knew was, was quick-witted and, and full of jokes and pranks, you know. And uh, I remember at May May's wedding, at his daughter's wedding, that's when I first saw it. And she told me, uh, look, look, mom, when you see dad, uh, don't mention anything. Don't feel sorry for him. He's going to get upset with you. Just act like you don't know it. And I thought I was prepared. And then when I saw him, I know, hey, I said, oh my God, I gotta use the restroom, you know? And I went in that stall and I cried like a baby. It was so sad. Yeah. That was sadder to me than the death. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, my dad died of Parkinson's from a, like a year and a half ago. And the worst part about Parkinson's is that the brain is still fully functional, yeah. but the body just starts to give out. Oh my God. And you, you have, know. you literally start to lose control of, of your muscles and your Ooh. everything else like that. And it's just a, Lord Jesus. a sad deterioration. So yeah, I, I could definitely relate to that situation. Man. But you know, he went down as, you know, he may not have had the greatest record ever, but he went down as the greatest boxer ever yeah. because of everything he did outside yeah. of the ring. Oh yeah, just as a humanitarian, yes. you know, he he went and got hostages that Reagan couldn't get, you know. Mm -hmm. Remember he went over there yeah. to Saddam Hussein, look, I want the hostages. Okay, Ali, you know. <laughs> there you go, and, Yeah, there you go. Yeah. You know, and he gave to the Jewish uh senior citizens home, he gave to he gave to everybody. He gave Christians uh land to build their churches on. He was more like Christ as a Muslim than any Christian I've ever met. 